Hi friends, Tracy Bish here, your Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Central Victoria, Australia. Welcome to Create with Tracy, 27th of October. I have a fun, fun fold for you. It is a slimline fun fold card using the Yeti to Party stamp set from the mini catalogue. What's great is this folds flat to fit into one of our um, slimline envelopes that you can pick up in the catalogue. They come in three colours. We have white, grey and soft succulent. Not sure if it's smoky slate or whether it's grey granite, but you can you've got a few colours to choose from and they fit perfectly in the white ones because and it has a beautiful little snowflake background as well. Okay, so let's get started with this card. I think anyone would love to receive this one. So we have our embossing folder here. This is the Charming Landscapes embossing folder from the mini catalogue. I have tons of Bits of cardstock, and you could use a lot of scraps in this one. Pool Party Basic White, uh, the main colours that we're using. Um, we are starting off with our card base. It measures 8 and 7 eighths by 3 and 1 eighths. We are going to, oh, and also 8 and 7 eighths by 1 and 1 half, which is what I've got here. We're going to score at 1 inch on each end of both of those cardstocks. This is going to create our little fun fold card. All right, we're also going to emboss the background. So I'm just going to get my cut and emboss machine. We're going to place that larger of the two folding over one side and placing it right along on the left-hand side. The reason this is a little bit too long to go through the whole folder, but it won't matter once we put the Yeti in on the right-hand side. So make sure you place the cardstock all the way over to the left when you run it through. Look at the design on this, so cute. We're also going to do the same for that smaller piece at the front and I'm placing it right to the very left hand side but right at the very top. I want to get those little the um, mountains there in the design. Alright so we have our two pieces scored, we're going to burnish them and we have them embossed as well. This card is actually really, really simple. You could also add a set, another layer to the card if you would like to pop more things inside the card. I've left it pretty simple. I wanted to really have that embossing folder be a focal image with the Yeti. Okay, so moving on, we have two pieces of cardstock, both basic white. That larger one is for the back of the card. So we're going to stamp the Yeti in the Memento Tuxedo Black Ink, just off to the very bottom right-hand side. And then on the other one, we're going to stamp the full Yeti. Now you could colour this in. I highly recommend using Smoky Slate Light and colouring around the edges, and then that will give the look of it being the Yeti being white. I've left mine completely plain but completely up to you. I'm also using the Snowfall Accents puff paint on this card so you could also cover in the Yeti with Snowflake Snowfall Accents as well and give it that popped up feature. I've brought the Pool Party cut um, ink in and we're just stamping a few of the uh, snowflakes there. Okay for the sentiment piece I am going to stamp two snowflakes in the pool party because we've just inked up those snowflakes you can either let that dry or hit it with the heat tool because we're going to heat emboss we want to make sure that none of our white embossing powder sticks to that so bringing in that second piece we're going to stamp three of our mountains and um, these are snow topped mountains and we're going to heat emboss those in the white embossing powder as well all right, so bringing the white powder in, make sure that you've got a good covering of those. We're going to heat emboss this, so just melting that powder. Once that heat tool's warmed up, it doesn't take very long at all. And I'm also going to hit those snowflakes just to make sure that they're completely dry. Now, if you're in need of any of the supplies that I've used on today's card or any other supplies you need in your crafting stash, you can purchase them in my online store. Use this month's hostess code. I have a great special on for you. You'll receive a handmade card as well as a bundle tutorial. If your order is over $100 before 
uh, postage, you also receive the Sweet Simple Stampers tutorial bundle as well. So a great little added bonus. We're also going to add a few snowflakes here. I'm stamping on Versa with Versamark ink onto the Pool Party cardstock. We're going to heat emboss with the white embossing powder and we are going to just fussy cut those out. There are dies for this uh, stamp set now, which you can, um, I think they'll be available by the time this video comes out. I know they're available for demonstrators right now. I don't have them, but um, I think these are all fairly easy to fussy cut as well, but I'll probably end up buying the bundle or the, the die set as well. So we've stamped our sentiment. We're going to, always said that wrong. I've stamped my sentiment and we're just going to heat emboss this one as well. I tend to add all my words together when I'm a little nervous. All right. So really, once we start um, fussy cutting these out, we are going to add some of that Snowfall accents. If you haven't used this before, because this has been available in previous catalogs, it's uh, actually really fun to use. Can be a little tricky because it is super liquidy and I don't know whether that's my bottle or whether that's how it normally is. So you want to be very, very careful when you're putting that Snowfall Accents out onto your cardstock because it will just leak everywhere. Um, okay, so I'm going to quickly just fussy cut these mountains out. I think I also fussy cut the snowflakes and our little Yeti there. So with the Snowfall Accents... There are a few tricks and that I can give you with this. One thing I found is if you put a small layer on to start with, heat it up, it won't puff completely. But once you've got that first layer and then you stick some more of the Snowfall Accents on top, it sort of holds onto the liquid, which makes it a little bit easier. It's not trying to run off when you hit it with the heat tool. So it will puff up a lot better the second time around. So just take your time with it um, and be really careful not to, don't, you don't need to squeeze the bottle at all. So quick fussy cut in there and also our snowflakes. There are two snowflakes in this stamp set. It's a photopolymer stamp set, so a see-through stamp set. This is a really cute one if you like to do, you know, cutish cards for... Uh, Christmas. It's also not not a traditional one, which I really like. There's some really great little accents in that stamp set as well. And I do use this stamp set for quite a few projects coming up, so you'll see this one used a bit. Okay, um, what else can I talk about while we're doing this? So I am still away on holidays right now. I'm sure I'm having a wonderful time. I will hope to, when I get back to um, catch up with you and let you know all what's going on. I have planned on coming on a little bit every now and again just to let you know what we're up to and maybe give you a few clips of, of fun things that we've been doing on holidays. I'm so excited, I cannot wait. Okay, so we're on our last one. These snowflakes, we're actually going to pop up with dimensionals on the back and this just gives it a little bit of extra detail on the backing as well. Now, because this card is all uh, pool party, basic white and black, I think it's, it's a really cute card, but you could certainly use this design to use any of your stamp sets that you have to create something different. And like I said, you could add another little layer in between the card to add a few more pop-up features. Just make sure that when you're putting them in, that when you fold the card flat, it's not going to go over the edge because you really don't want that, um, you're not going to be able to fit it in that envelope. So I've just popped my Yeti down on that front panel piece and drawn around it with my pencil. I've got a heavy hand, so I've just come back in with my eraser to get rid of some of that because once I have the Snowfall accents down, I'm not going to be able to get rid of it. So here I am using the first layer and as you can see, it just went everywhere. <laughs> Hit it with the heat tool and it's gone down the side. So like I said, be really careful and try and do a, a really small layer to start with. And I found that if I just sort of worked in little spots and then kept coming in with the heat tool, it worked so much better. It does take that little bit of extra time, 
but once it's on there it really creates a wow for your card so I highly recommend giving this one a go and yeah it's nice that Stampin' Out brought it back because we did have it I, th I would say probably two years ago that we had it so it was really nice as you can see so this first layer was a lot lighter it gave me just that little bit of extra and then bringing in the second layer it helped to um, to hold on to that liquid and also be able to hold it in place for that next layer so I just have to put my plug in for my laptop it was going to go and die on me so as I'm just working around that area where we have stenciled around the Yeti so he it looks like he's standing in snow which I thought was a really cute little idea so once you've heated heat this uh, puff paint up you want to make sure that you don't put your fingers in it it's it actually stays a little wet for a couple of minutes so it does take a few minutes to dry so you want to just be careful um, not to play with it too much it also could be really hot I didn't try putting my hands in it but because we are heating it and it is still not liquidy but it's it's not a solid it could burn your hands so be very very careful so I've just popped some dimensionals down and popped my Yeti on top and then we can start placing the card together one thing I found is I just trimmed off a little bit on either side of the tabs because they measure the same as the back of the card I wanted to make sure that there was enough room and it didn't bunch up too much this will help to make sure that it folds flat we're going to add a little bit of our tear and tape down the sides to put it together I've also just laid it in there marked where that front layer goes to and I'm cutting up to that score line this just gives it that extra added feature you could leave it as straight up and down but I thought this looked I don't know a little bit nicer so we're just gluing this in I think I said I used tear and tape but I've used liquid glue so you want to make sure that it's folded flat for your second one when you pop it down that way you'll know that once it's dry it will fit in that envelope and won't be bunched up so we're going to add our two pieces of the sentiment and the matting together down onto the front of the card base and this is where we can start adding our uh, mountains I've just added a little bit of liquid sorry some tear and tape to the bottom of each mountain and I've arranged them around the back of uh, the Yeti so it's sort of he has the mountains on the back behind him which is really quite cute and then we have our basic white piece oh that's right we're also gonna add some snow to the top of the mountains this was actually really quite quick as well like I said add a little bit to start with and then add your second layer down it just makes it a little bit easier so we've got three mountains they do overlap when you're sticking them in behind the Yeti and down the bottom of the front of the card you just want it to sort of surround the Yeti beautifully you could also change the color of these if you wanted um, just the plain white mountains I don't know I, I really <laughs> I was stuck on the pool party and white for some reason so here we're layering him laying the mountains behind the Yeti and I've got it sort of sitting um, right on the, the base of the card there moving one next to it but down a little bit you want to stagger them a little bit there we go so super cute want to be careful too that they're not too big so it still will fit in your envelope adding some dimensionals to the back of each snowflake and I thought um, placing one on his hand I just thought that, that was pretty cute so we're just layering them around you can have more snowflakes if you wanted them or less whichever, whichever you like I just think they add just that little bit of extra detail in on the card and then we're going to use liquid glue for that back now there's plenty of room to write your message so if you like to send cards with lots of uh, lots of message you can certainly do that on the card and if you need more room just stamp the Yeti down further all right so isn't that cute what a cute card you could try this with any of the stamp sets and dies that you have in your stash so if you do 
please tag me in it. Show me your creation. I would love to see it. Thank you so much for joining me. This is the card for that I made for Tracy's Sunday Challenge. The theme is Funfold. So if you would like to join in, you certainly can. Head over to my Facebook page and you can see what others create and pop in your creation there as well. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.